What's up everybody, Tech Trucker here, and today we're going to do a review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Space Venom Wave Hobgoblin. This was one of my must-haves from this wave, and it does not disappoint. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. Checking out the articulation first as always. Hobgoblin's head is on a ball peg with a hinge joint, and he can get his head or he can look up about this far. It's not super far. You really kind of have to force it, especially with that cape, but it's not too bad. And then he can get his chin pretty much all the way down. If it wasn't for that cape again, it would go further down. So no issues with the articulation. He can look side to side with no problems. And he does have a pretty good amount of tilt within that head as well. So I'm liking that. Moving into the shoulders, he's got a ball hinge in the shoulder, which works fairly well. He's able to get his arm out about that much, not too much. He does have full rotation of that shoulder, which is great. He's got an upper bicep cut, which works well. Double jointed elbows, which work well enough if I can kind of finagle this. Um, he's He's got a little bit bulkier of arms and uh, wrists, so it's harder. But he does have a wrist joint with a, uh, a hinge and a peg joint, which works fairly well. Moving down into the torso, he's got that standard hinge joint that Hasbro likes, and it's a little bit limited, I'll say that. Uh, he can move, let me move that, there we go. So he can, he can crunch forward about this much, it's about one click, and it doesn't really stay, uh, but then he is able to uh, kind of arch his back this much, it looks pretty bad, I mean that's pretty ugly. But, you know, it's range of motion that works. Let's get this shoulder harness out of the way. He does have a waist swivel, which works very well. There's really no issues, and that belt definitely hides that. Moving into his hips, he's got T-jointed hip joints, and he's able to do about this amount of the splits, which isn't too bad. I would have liked it a little bit more, but nothing too terrible. He can kick his leg up about level or about 90 degrees which is pretty good and he is not really able to get his leg back uh, it's actually not too bad for a marvel legend it's it's pretty decent he has an upper thigh cut which works very well it does look a little bit ugly but because it's all blue it's not too bad and he's got double jointed knees which work very very well He's got a shin, upper shin cut, which works well and hit, is hidden very well at the boot. He has an ankle hinge, which works very well back and not too great forward. And then there is an ankle rocker, which works fairly well. So overall, I'm really happy with the articulation on this figure. Uh, you know, there's certainly areas that they could have improved on, but for the most part, all the articulation that you need is there, and most of it works fairly well. We're going to check out the sculpt and paintwork on this figure, and I think Hasbro did a really, really good job. We're going to take a look, of course, at the head and face sculpt first. If I can get this thing to focus, ah, that's not too bad. So I think the sculpt is pretty good on this figure. I like the detail. The paint, for the most part, I like the, uh, the paint color. The eyes are a little bit funky. You can see that this hood is actually a softer plastic, and I like the color scheme that they used. I like this sculpting. I like that the... Uh, the tail of the hat or hood is is soft and it allows uh, for no issues with that articulation. Uh, I think the paint could have been a little bit cleaner on the face, but on the back there is definitely some shading. Uh, you know, those teeth are a little bit messy. The eyes definitely look kind of cruddy, but that's okay. Moving down into the uh, upper arms, well, the arms, I love this uh, kind of scaled look that they did. It looks great. They painted it very, very well. I assume that that's paint. Maybe it's cast. Uh, the chest, I, I would like a little bit more detail work in the chest, but this uh, little satchel thing that he's got is painted very nicely with the uh, buckle painted and the snap uh, and the buckle on the actual uh, satchel thing you can see the sculpting of the uh, the seam work uh, so that piece is really really nice and it does hide that plain chest a little bit uh, the the cape is sculpted very very nicely I like this ragged torn look uh, there's a little bit of paint detail and some shading uh, I really like that it's a nice softer uh, cape the back there is again not really much detail for sculpt or paint on those orange parts, but that's okay. It, it still works. 
And then we get this scaling again on the legs, uh, which works really, really well for this figure. Uh, and the character, it, it just it looks really, really nice. They did a great job with the sculpting. The boots are sculpted really, really nicely, but they need a little more paint. There needs to be some sort of a black wash or some sort of shading uh, to give it a little more contrast. And pretty much all the orange parts need that, which they did on the hood and the cape. So uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the sculpt work uh, and the paint work on this figure. I think they did a decent job. That belt looks pretty nice. They painted the buckle, which I, you know, we don't always get those buckles painted. So overall, I think Hasbro did a really, really good job on this one. Taking a look now at the accessories, uh, Hobgoblin comes with this little flaming pumpkin, which is sculpted fairly nicely. Uh, it's in this translucent orange uh, plastic, which works very, very nice. I do think maybe it could have used a tiny bit of a black wash just to make the, the uh, actual sculpt work stand out a little bit more, but otherwise it is a very nice uh, accessory if you can not drop it on the floor a million times. Uh, he holds it okay in his hands, but yeah, he's going to drop it. This alternate head is, I, I'm not feeling it so much. I don't like that tongue. Uh, the rest of it is sculpted nicely and painted relatively cleanly. The eyes are actually painted a little better on mine uh, than on the, the other one. But uh, again, we get this stupid little tongue and I don't know, I just, I'm just not feeling the tongue. I wish that the tongue would peg in and out. Uh, so we could take it off if we wanted to. Because I actually like this head sculpt. Uh, just not the stupid tongue. So let's go ahead and take this. So just to note that uh, that flight stand is a Mafex one. It's not. It didn't come with this figure. But the head just pops off. You can see if you want to take that, uh, that cape off, it comes right off. Let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this sucker on and show you what he looks like with this but ugly head. There we go. Alrighty, so this is what he looks like with this weird head. And, you know, maybe maybe that one's your cup of tea, but it's not mine. And he comes with this little uh, flight rocket thing. Cow, oh, I can't remember what it's called. If you guys remember, let me know in the comments. But it's sculpted relatively nicely. There's zero paint on it. It's just this uh, boring plastic look and and so it looks like plastic uh, i may actually give this thing a black wash because that's all it really needs uh, yeah i could use a little bit of dry brushing to give it a more metallic look but you know it's okay it's softer plastic so it can um, you know bend and flex a little bit so that you can kind of position those feet the way that you need them to uh, his feet kind of slide right into these uh, little loops if I can get them to slide in. The one thing I don't like is the the actual gaps or the holes. You can see right underneath, you can see that there's no plastic where his foot kind of rests underneath those uh, tab things or whatever. I'm not a huge fan of that because it just makes it look like it's cheap. Uh, but overall, I like the accessory. I like all the accessories that we get with this figure. Uh, alternate hands would have been great. Maybe hands that held the uh, the little flaming pumpkins would have been a little bit better. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I only paid like 10 bucks for this figure anyway. So overall, I definitely, definitely recommend that you go out and get this figure. I don't have the Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure that they did, and honestly, I don't feel like I need it because I think this is such a good figure that I don't need that, that Build-A-Figure. Alrighty, folks, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. You can see them right up here and down here. Also, check out the featured video that I've got here. Every single video I'm going to feature someone else's video. Somebody who has a channel, either it's an up-and-comer like myself or somebody who's an old pro. Whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. So make sure you go check it out, like their content, subscribe to their channel, and until next time, I'll see you later. Tetris Brain Blast.